Hey guys, this is Spirit Master, our time for Pro and Wild number 256, the last featuring the original pick 5. Now, facing this Kevin guy, no, this is not the Enderman 12, I've actually, this is actually a guy actually um, fought against in, uh, in real life. So, I actually went to a college some time ago, and, you know, this guy was playing Pokemon, uh, Pokemon so I might as well, you know, let's have a battle. So, or, actually, no, I think he won the one that challenged me. I don't remember. So, I finally got the Hypnosis, so, I finally got it. But now I'm going to talk about the status struck counter because I wasn't sure how I'm going to really how to implement, implement it to Pokemon because like uh, last last episode or two I remember that uh, I counted every time I was like frozen. So as, as we can say so this like to not make it as insane as the lob counter for every use of the primary status like asleep or frozen I'm going to put one for just for it just for it being afflicted, even if it was first turn wake up or first turn thaw. But for the secondary stats like confusion, attract, or flinch, that will be uh, counted every time it's it's struck. So that means like uh, if I hit myself with confusion, that's counted. But if I don't hit myself with confusion and I'm not confused, that doesn't count. So yeah, that's gonna do the status counter for now. Okay, so Uber counter time. Speaking of, I actually missed an Uber counter on a uh, 254, I believe, going to the Zernia, so I can put uh, add one there. So, yeah, so you can see this uh, Mega Gengar. It's just like the biggest, really the biggest threat my, on, uh, for my team, because like, um, I'm not sure, because I wasn't so sure who, who is the best uh, character to actually stop it, because I sent the Princess here, because I thought Mega Gardevoir would actually be, be tough, um, or tank one Shadow Ball from Mega Gengar. Guess what happens next? So, not only does the Nightmare outsped Mega Gardevoir, which makes sense, but one hit KOs it. Whoops. I done goofed. That's another correct Pokemon to use against Mega Gengar. So, yeah, so even though uh, Mega Gengar here has Dazzling Gleam, this is a freaking Gudra. <laughs> so, remember, this is a Gudra. It's, it, it could tank such little attacks like, the, like it's no tomorrow. Even if it's a, a Dazzling Gleam for Mega Gengar. So, as I know that, um, Mega Gengar would 3KO Gudra, but he's Confuse Ray. So again, oh, bro, I hope I don't hit myself with the Confusion. But I get Confuse actually a pretty good move, I just don't see it used that much. Now, since I didn't hit myself with the Confusion, I don't get the Status Strike counter here. So, there you go, that's pretty much an example of how it should work, how it, I'll probably make it work from now on. So, now there's no way the Mega Gengar's gonna, gonna beat my, uh, beat Gudra unless I hit myself with the Confusion. Because knowing that the guy that doesn't gleam would hit it because it's not a crit, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Otherwise, I would put like the cheap shot or hacks on it, I don't remember. Or hacks, yeah. So I just put that in. Same third, then. There goes the Gengar, so he goes the biggest threat on my team. So I believe his next one is Aerodactyl. It's uh. It's, uh it's, even though you can see his Aerodactyl here, uh, he uses Sky Drop, so that actually will definitely KO Vanilla here, so. No matter what, even if, uh, if it's um have leftovers, it's it's still an Aerodactyl versus a Gudra. So there you go. Okay, so Vanilla's down. Not gonna send in Caesar because that's the best one to use against an Aerodactyl. Because I'm pretty sure uh nothing nothing Aerodactyl can do one hit kill the Porion. But he's head, what the heck? But I flinched, so status. So there you go. So yeah, that. So I'll just yeah, show you what the status strike counter would be like. Um, this is actually the last battle with the original pick five. I actually fought this person in real life. Now, the only thing I can tell this is actually a person I fought in real life, why not the Demon 12, is because I believe his next Pokemon. Because, uh, let's see if it's, if it's the next Pokemon. Oh no, it's not this one. It's the one after, it's the one after, uh, Pangoro. But, uh, so yeah, the Pokemon after Pangoro is going to be the one I can tell. Because, uh, yeah, so, so you see it's Pangoro uses Power Punch for some reason. Huh. Alright, whatever. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna do much. I mean, I just gonna scald him to death anyway, so bye. Yamaguchi. Where does that come from? I don't even remember. I never heard the name before, but I don't, I don't even remember. Here it is! Cthulhu! This this soccer remember, this is actually a guy I actually found in real life because um he told me he didn't know that Malamar was a physical attacker. Because um you can see he said he, um, he has a special special Malamar uh, di who doesn't, doesn't, didn't even knew that uh, Malamar's actually more of a physical attacker. So as he told him in the beginning of the match that he actually didn't know. So that's how I can remember it's a guy I know in real life. 
If you're gonna demon 12, then I can't then I can't be saying this, but actually meant demon 12 in real life. <laughs> nah, but it can't be him though. If it was him, he if, it, if it's him, like that would be cool because then that I means I actually met Demon 12 in real life, even though it lives in the Netherlands, according to a Skype. But uh So anyway, Talon Flames last Pokemon, and he just scales Rika like easy with acrobatics. Okay, that's kind of simple. Now, uh, I don't know if this is my last Pokemon though. This is okay, so here's my Samune. So I actually thought he was just gonna go for Flare Blitz, because that's just like the obvious choice. But no, he actually saw it coming. He has Flamethrower. So I'm not sure if uh, I'm not sure if um that was a, a dumb idea for him or a smart idea because well in his case a smart idea because well he actually came prepared against against a uh, it just slash huh however still gonna three KO <laughs> it's really still gonna three KO eat like um maybe even four K with the citrus berry so yeah I think three KO so it's probably still gonna be uh three KO even after the uh, citrus berry so I'm just gonna go to the swords dance. And then just, you know, proceed with Shadow Sneaking and done. That's the end of the match. So anyway, that is all for uh, the original pick by. So I think I'm going to go uh, for the next uh, few matches. I'm going to go for th back to 5th gen because, well, you know what? It's going to happen on the May 20th. So anyway, see you guys later for another Pokemon Wi-Fi match. Or either do you pick fair or do pick back to gen 5.